Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today I'm here at Ramsbottom United. Well, sort of anyway. I'm here at Ramsbottom Cricket Club to start the video uh, just to show you um, what I think is pretty cool. Um, it's not often you see a uh, cricket club backing onto a, um, a football stadium in the modern day. So yeah, for anyone interested, any cricket fans who uh, might watch the channel, or maybe it's just me that's interested. Um, but yeah, it's always pretty cool. As you can see, uh, the cricket pitch here in the pavilion um, and then the uh, the stand of Ramsbottom United there as well in the background. So yeah, I just thought that was relatively interesting. But for the uh, the reason why I'm actually here tonight, it's not for the cricket, not that there's any on. Um, it's to watch Macclesfield FC as they take on Ramsbottom United in the Northern Premier League. Now, last time out, uh, Macclesfield were dumped out of the FA Cup away at Colville where they lost 1-0. And uh, quite disappointing that for them. Uh, they were targeting the first round proper in the FA Cup, but it wasn't to be. They were knocked out and they will be looking to bounce back tonight against Ramsbottom. Um, and yeah, it's probably going to be quite a tough game this one. Uh, Ramsbottom, are, Ramsbottom are down in 18th at the moment in the league, but we know that doesn't really mean anything when it comes to these sort of away games. Uh, Macclesfield are of course quite a big scalp, you know, everyone's going to want to beat them. Um, and I think that will reflect in the game tonight. Uh, it certainly did last time out in Macclesfield's last away game in the league, away at Witten. Um, you know, I said in that video in the preview uh, that I thought Macclesfield would uh, sort of roll Witten over, you know, maybe 3, 4, 5, nil, And I got a bit of um, egg on my face with that one when Witten Albion won 1, nil. Uh, I don't think it'll be like that tonight, but I don't think the score will be anywhere near. Uh, what I was predicting for that one. I can see it being tight. Obviously, Ramsbottom will be really happy with a nil-nil here. Uh, as I said, you know, Macclesfield, they're a big team and you're going to want to uh, frustrate them. And I think Macclesfield need to be uh, ready for that. Um, there's been a lot of calls for the likes of um, Andy Owens or Tom Clare to start up top to deal with the physicality that these tough away games are going to bring in the league this season. And uh, that might be the answer, but, um, you know, who knows? I think Macclesfield, crucially, will bounce back from that FA Cup disappointment, though, and get the win tonight. But, yeah, it'd be nothing like uh, what I was predicting in the last video. I, I guess I'd probably say maybe 2-1 or 1-0 to Macclesfield. But, yeah, let's see. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully Macclesfield can get the win um, and, and sort of bounce back, like I said. You know, they've got three games in hand in the league now, and um, they, they need a win tonight to really kick on and sort of show... Uh, that they are serious about winning the league this season but yeah hopefully we can also meet a few um, Silkman fans uh, traveling fans you know familiar faces on the channel to see what their thoughts are about the game but yeah we'll see you guys then and uh, a bit later on <laughs> Tell you what, this has always interested me when I've come down here before. Uh, came here in pre-season with Barry, and uh, yeah, notice this: you've got Istanbul, Bishakshir, Karabag, PSV, Borussia Mönchengladbach, and uh, Ferenc Varos. I think that is on the end there. Why? <laughs> Anyone involved at Ramsbottom? If you could let me know why you've got these five random club badges here at your stadium. I assume it's something to do with maybe the Europa League or the Champions League, but yeah, if anyone knows, do let me know. Okay, so here with Cesar Rodriguez. Is that how I pronounce it? It is, I've that's very, very good, Robbie. <laughs> is very, it? Very, very Where, good. Where's that name from, actually? 
It's Spanish. Is it's it? Spanish. Right. Yeah, my parents are Spanish. But Always I'm Mac, born and bred. Always wondered, <laughs> but um, digress. Um, about tonight's game, obviously playing Ramsbottom here mm. um, in the Northern Premier League, and um, I have to talk about the obvious dumped out of the FA Cup at the week, uh, last weekend yeah. um, against Colville. I believe you were there. What did you yes. make of it? Uh, result was very, very disappointing. Uh, we didn't play great at all, but there was we could have been two up with James Berry McNally in the first 20 minutes or so. But it was a bit of a scrappy game. Um, I think we were just a bit naive. We were, seemed to be lumping it up front from the back, and we were playing a false nine with Alex playing there, and we just didn't seem sort of right. Then Duffy came on towards the end and he did give us a bit more impetus but uh, we conceded a free kick which I didn't think was right uh, Brandon Lee was running back near the halfway line looked like their striker had sort of booted it <laughs> towards Marcelo and um, from the free kick we just didn't clear it their sub scored with a great header in the roof of the net didn't give Marcelo a chance but um, Hoping for better things today. Yeah, disappointing to be out of the cup. Obviously, the the yeah. aim the aim was to get to the first round, but all focus on the league now. You've got three game, yeah. games in hand, I believe. Currently sat mm. in second. Do you think yeah. you can um, sort of not not put things right, but um, you know, get on a winning track again tonight? I think so. I think so because after the Witten uh, midweek one nil defeat a couple of weeks ago. They obviously came back, um, I missed that game, Tadcaster, but they put seven past them. I'm not saying it's going to be seven tonight, I think it's going to be a tough game today. Ramsbottom haven't had the best starts of the season. They're down in 18th, I think. Yeah, they're quite low down in the league, um, but I think they will give it everything today. I think it's going to be a physical battle. I've not seen the team sheet yet, but I would presume Danny might go with Tom, Tom Clare up front, and maybe play Alex just off him, or maybe even Neil. Kengi just off him because those two have got goals in them. I'm hoping James Berry will do his magic. Um, could have had a couple first half uh, on Saturday, but um, I think defensively we are solid, but we just need to get clicking away from home up front and put these put these chances away in the first half and make it a bit easier so fans aren't on tender hooks. <laughs> yeah, I said pretty uh, much very similar in my introduction that these away games for. Mac, you know, the, the home side, they're going to want to set up um, defensively and they'd be happy with a point. Let's, let's face it, a nil-nil mm. draw because Mac are the big scalp in the league. And so they've got to manage that. And I think probably the likes of Claire or Owens would be maybe a, a good addition tonight. But, you know, fingers crossed, Macclesfield can yeah. get the win. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, three points and get back up there. And um, obviously we've got games in hand, but um, keep this good league season going. Okay, so I'm here with Zach, of course, yep. and Joe. Yep. How are you guys doing today, uh, first of all? Great. Good. Living life. Back. Did either of you go to the uh, FA Cup game? Oh, I did, mate. It was shambolic. Awful. Terrible. I know, I'm probably getting chuffed saying this, but... Danny, what is he doing, man? What is he doing? Not bringing Claire on earlier on, like... I think that needs to be something to look at for yeah. the away games, bringing up, yeah. bringing someone like Clara Owens on. Today. Is he? There yeah. you go. Jeez, well, well, Marcelo kept us in the game. It is Marcelo. But yeah, <laughs> apart from that, bounce back today. I'm going for four. I'm going to be honest with you. A 1-1 one -one draw. 1-1? One -one. Yeah. Not very um, optimistic as no, usual. after our past two away performances. Joe, what do you think? Uh, I think 1-0 Tom Clare today. Okay, so I'm here with Harry. How are you doing, mate? Good. Good, yeah. Um, what do you think about the game today? Because obviously they went out of the FA Cup. Were you there for that? or yeah. what, do, what do you think of that, first of all? It wasn't great. I think Kobe were the better side overall. We didn't play great, really. Yeah. Jacob Hansen, I think, should have dropped over. Oh, contro controversial. Do you think you'll bounce back today against Ramsbottom? We should play better than we did on Saturday. Yeah. I think we will. Yeah, because they're, they're 18th in the league, but obviously Macclesfield have struggled away from home. What do you think for a score prediction? Oh, so you want me to the Silks, goal scorers. Neil Kenge and Brandon Lee. And I believe you've got a YouTube channel yourself as well. Do you want to shout yeah. that out for uh, everyone? Super Sun Vlogs. And then has a Mac, Mac, uh, Mac profile like, picture. On the profile. Well, guys, go and check it out. Super Sun Vlogs. Go and subscribe to his channel. Did you go to the FA Cup game at the weekend? 
Yes, I did. I thought it was very disappointing. Mm. I, thought, I didn't think we offered any attacking threat. And what we're doing bringing Clare on when we've gone 1-0 down. He's the target man we need if we want to score goals. Well, That's my personal view. Well, I've heard he's starting tonight. He could be, uh, uh, could be crucial. He's starting tonight and we're playing at a stadium named after me, Harry. Although my surname's not Williams, <laughs> but the, st the stadium is named after myself. And come on, you Siltman! I'm going to go for a 1 0 Maxfield win today. Tom Clare with the goal at the last minute. My name's Callum, and it's going to be 2 0 the Rams. My name's Luca, and I think 3 1 Rams. Come on! Then over, it's going to be 1 0 the Rams. Come on! Ross, 1 0 Rams, come on! Let's go, boys!
Okay, so full time here at the Harry Williams Stadium and it's finished Rams Bottom United nil, Macclesfield FC 5 and it was a uh, bit of a rampant second half that for the Silkman where they really um, sort of shifted gear and uh, just put Rams Bottom to the, to the, uh, to the sword to be fair. Um, two goals by Tom Clare, um, one by Harry Boer and uh, I think the others were scored by Nicky Maynard from the penalty spot and James Berry. So yeah, all round great performance by the Silkman. Um, helped by a few bits of sort of suspect uh, defending here and there from from uh, Ramsbottom, especially in the first half as well. You know, giving away the uh, the penalty and the red card, and then uh, the goalkeeper as well giving away a uh, penalty in the second half. That was uh, the goal uh, for Nicky Maynard, which he um, you know dispatched from the penalty spot. But yeah, great win for Macclesfield to take some back up to the top of the table, and uh, yeah, good night all round. <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed though. Please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys once again and I will see you in the next one which will be back here uh, for Clitheroe's FA Trophy match on Saturday. So yeah, see you then. Bye. <laughs>